So this battle of playoff bound teams fighting to stay undefeated went down without the hottest quarterback in Northern Virginia. Adrian Mejia on crutches, broken leg, he's done for the year. Enter in Manny Baskerville, a running back, and it turns out a very talented quarterback. He would be facing a disagreeable bunch on that Rams defense. Well, we got to see that relationship pan out quickly on the Spartans opening drive. Manny Baskerville turns it upfield. Big collision with Sean Pierce. Impressive start for Baskerville, filling in for Adrian Mejia. He moves the Spartans downfield. They get a field goal and go up three to nothing on their opening drive. Rams first drive. Luke Lepresti hands it to the horse, Will Cohen. He's got business downfield. 50 yards later, the Rams are up seven to three. Three and out for the Spartans on their second drive. Alex Perrin punting away. Luke Lepresti takes it around midfield, all the way down into the red zone, out at the 18 yard line. Next play, Will Cohen around the left side. He's in all alone again. It's coming back though. Lepresti drops. He stretches it on the right side. He's picked. Dante Lord brings it out to the 30 yard line. Then Manny to Josh Cole. Warder sticks him. Ball is rolling. Anthony Hamilton scoops that up and he's in the end zone before anyone can figure out where that ball ain't. Spartan coaches were not happy that there was a whistle blown. The crews in Northern Virginia are smaller. They are working with what they have at this point. Both staffs no happy with the stripes on Thursday night. Meanwhile, a botched snap on the point after. Grant St. Clair gets it on the corner and gives the Rams two. It's 15 to three, just like that. Next drive, Baskerville back to pass. He launches this one. Connects with Jacob McKinney, who's in the end zone. 65 yards, it's 15-10 at that point with just under a minute left in the first quarter. The Spartan Height squad is lit and making some commotion. Second quarter, Grant St. Clair, Dylan Byerline, a little mix directs. And Will Cohen is trotting again. That one's 58 yards and the Rams are up 22 to 10 with 9.50 left in the half. Baskerville moving the Spartans. He's got Jacob McKinney again. This one covers 18 yards. Spartans hanging tough. It's 22-17. They get the ball back again, but they're about 80 yards away from that end zone. Doesn't matter. Manny, he's looking for Aaron Fields, and he's got him. Esamang, ooh, grabbing a little of that bridle. They throw a little horse collar real estate in on top of that catch. Spartans in goal to go situation. And Manny, did I say Mejia? No, Manny getting it done. He's on the corner and just like that, we got us a lead change. The Spartans up by one. And it would stay that way as Robinson blocks the extra point. 23-22 West Springfield at the half. Those hypesters. They believe after driving the Spartans deep, Manny drops the ball and Ian Outram scoops and is jetting downfield. 89 yards and a big turn. The Spartans had the mojo. Robinson takes the lead back and Grant St. Clair just pushes it ahead on the QB sneak up the middle. It's good and it's 30 to 23. Robinson at the 7-13 mark, third quarter. Spartans still fighting. He's got his younger bro, Enon Baskerville, spinning, making moves, pushing all the way down to the two yard line. Robinson finally stopping him, but Manny punches it in on the next play. And it's 30-29 with 4.57 left, third quarter. Fourth quarter now, Manny drops back. He goes over the middle looking for Aaron Fields, but Alan Hagler playing center field, he picks it. 30 yards straight in. That sealed the deal. I look to the quarterback, uh, Billy Water, shout out number 33. He rocked him, quarterback throws the ball up. I look, grab ball, and six, pick six all day. That was great. You see, you're cruising down the sidelines. Did you know right away you had it, or was it kind of? Uh, well, it was kind of iffy at first. I was kind of bobbling because I was a little nervous. But then I got a hold of it, and I scored. Robinson still undefeated. They are 6-0 and now, 44-29 tonight over West Springfield. They've got Lake Braddock coming in to visit next week. Good job.